Debt? What debt? Hmm. Who made all that debt? See how much we were able to pay off. Hi friends, Marlene here with Snow Gardener 307. I am here to bring you an update to our debt confession. This of course was my original paper when I did my first debt confession. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you go look at it. See exactly where we were. So let me get flipped over to our newest update. We have got some amazing updates for our debt. So this is where we're gonna start. So we've got our debt update. I don't know about you guys, but I love watching people pay off debt. And I like paying off debt myself, right? I love getting that debt taken care of. Debt, you know, oh, debt is just so hard on us. Puts so much stress on our lives. And for those of us that have chosen to get ourselves in debt, it takes quite a bit to get ourselves out of debt. So here's our debt update. January 29th, 2021 is when these numbers are from. And as that last page, we started in April. We started at the beginning of April in March. Um, I wrote down all of my debt. I wrote out all of our bills and we started to lay out a budget. And in March, it was just me to begin with, not my husband. For those of you guys that don't know about me or haven't seen one of my videos, like I said, my name is Marlene. I am a working mother of two teenagers and a newlywed. I got married um, about, well, now it's about seven months ago. So when I started, I was just doing my bills and I needed to get my plan formulated before I attempted to help my husband. But it is both of us doing it now. We're working together as a team. So our debt in April of 2020 was $365,862.62. This included a lots of different things and it broke out like this. I had $95,654.67 in debt. My hubby had $270,207.95. So this included mortgage, credit cards, auto loan, truck loan, student debt, and other loans. We have a land loan. My husband and I also snow machine, so we have a snow machine loan. And so the big difference between our debt here, of course, is the mortgage. This is my husband's house. He bought it about 10 years ago. And so uh, this is where we started. Now, let's see where we're going. So the first thing that happened this month, and this just happened actually, was it last week it happened? I found a mistake that I had made, and it was a big mistake. If you guys have kept up on the debt I've been able to pay off, I had a plan, and I've stuck to the plan. Well, I made a mistake, and my plan was messed up, so I had a big decision to make. It was big for me and it took a lot of soul searching to figure out what I was going to do about it, quite honestly. And so my big decision was to pay or not to pay. And this had to do with a credit card. And the next page is going to show you what I'm talking about. And I like to be secretive, right? I like to use the paper, make it so you guys can't see the whole page because I'm just mean like that. So it had to do with what I was fondly calling credit card number three. When I started, I don't even know how many credit cards I had money on, but it's a lot. I still have a lot of credit cards, just so you guys know. I follow Dave Ramsey, some of it, but not all of it. I have not gotten rid of my credit cards. I have been paying them off and I have not been using them, so I still have them. And the amount of credit card credit that banks are willing to give you is just astronomical. It's absurd how much available credit I have. But that's another story for another day. I digress. Sorry about that, you guys. So credit card number three. Like I told you guys, 
I made a mistake. I had a huge error. I had a balance of $6,500 on this card. I was just paying the minimum on this card because this was not my snowball card. I had already paid off credit card number one in full in January. And I also was able to pay off credit card number two in full in January. And they both had large balances, just so you guys know. So my dilemma came when I realized this. I thought I had at least another six months of 0% interest on this card. I don't know where I got it from. And if you guys can hear the dogs in the back, I apologize. They're always up to no good. We've got Yorkies. So if you want to see some baby Yorkies and some crazy pictures, we've got I've got some videos with them in them. But anyway, so I thought that I at least had, I really thought I had till July for this 0%. I don't know where I came up with that number. I couldn't find it anywhere, but in my head, that is what I thought. So I now had $6,500 of credit card debt that 0% was going to be expiring in a week and a half. And this is the really, really bad part. The interest rate on this card after the 0% was going to expire was 19.99%. Now, I know there are higher cards. I have some that are in the 20s, but still 20% interest on $6,500. That was going to kick my butt, right? What was I going to do? How was I going to afford to pay the interest and continue to make such a good positive journey on my debt, right? Make that positive. So I had to decide. I will tell you guys that if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I had saved enough that I had a month ahead fund. And that meant it was kind of an emergency savings account in and of its own, but it was to be utilized for monthly bills. So that meant in December, at the end of December, when I got my paycheck, I was actually using money that was already in my account to pay my bills and not using my paycheck from the end of December until the end of January to pay my bills. I get paid once a month, just so you guys know. So I had enough in my account that I was a full month ahead on my bills. It is a safety net. My job is fairly secure. However, my husband's is not. So it was one of those things that just made me feel better, right? We all do things differently. And again, this is something different that I do that doesn't follow the Dave Ramsey plan exactly is I have more than a thousand dollars saved. And for us, I believe it is the right thing and it gives me that sense of security. So I had my month ahead fund. Then also one of the ways that I was able to pay off one of my credit cards in January is of course I got $600 from the stimulus. So I was able to use that and my daughter's graduation trip that was planned for August of 2021 got canceled. It was a cruise. It was almost paid in full. So I got a big refund on that. So I took part of that refund and paid that credit card off knowing that I would have time to continue saving. So I made the decision to take money from my month ahead fund and the remaining of the refund from that canceled trip and I paid this credit card off. So our total debt after paying off credit card number three, here we go. This is exciting, you guys. Like I said, you could probably tell it really stressed me out that I made that mistake and I didn't want to use the money for what I did, but I truly believe everything happens for a reason. So we've got the slow reveal. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, it started in April 2020. Here's that number again. That's our debt in April 2020. That's a lot of debt. I know some of you guys are like, that's not much debt because you have way more. And others of you are going, yeah, that's a lot of debt. Okay, so now the end of January 2021, our debt. Can you see it yet? It definitely starts with a two, which is good. 
$88,863.20. So, in, let's see, so April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So we've got 10 months. In 10 months, we were able to pay off $76,999.42. You know, I wish I had just paid another 59 cents, right? So that was 77,000. But how amazing is that, you guys? Just blows my mind away, blows my mind away. So we are sitting right now with at least under $300,000 in debt. We are moving in the right direction. That's still a big number and we are still working. So let's break this down. I'm going to tell you what our new debt consists of. So obviously I say our new debt. This is debt we already had. This is just our new debt total. We have loans in the amount of $187,485.25. This is the mortgage and any other loan that is not an auto loan. So we have a land loan. This is our land. This is our mortgage. This is anything else that we have that is not a vehicle. So when you look at that, $187,000 and we owe $288,000, you know that this right here, you know, that's a little bit over $100,000 left in other loans. So this is a big part and our mortgage is a big part. And I'm okay with having a mortgage for now. We just need to get rid of the rest of this stuff. Then we have vehicles, $61,104.56. My husband and I both have fairly new vehicles and we each have our own loan. So we've got two vehicle loans that equal that. And to me, that just is silliness. But of course, you look at a new diesel truck, for example. My husband is looking at one of those. And depending on what you get, you're looking at $80,000 for a truck. It is ridiculous. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> that is one thing I agree with on Dave Ramsey. I love how he says in his book that, you know, when you buy a car, you are basically throwing like $100 bills out the window. And it's the truth. And it's ridiculous. But we travel a lot. We live in a rural area where we have to drive 100 miles pretty much to get anywhere. For those of you guys that don't know and haven't watched my videos, I have one grocery store in my town, one fast food, which is Subway and a gas station, and no stoplights in our entire county. So we definitely need vehicles that are good for the long haul. All right, next we've got credit cards. So this is with my husband and I's credit cards together. We have $36,908.39 of credit card debt. That number is still way too high, but oh my gosh, it is so much lower than it was before. So I am breathing a sigh of relief that we are actually getting these dang credit cards paid off. Then my college, very, very small. I'm working on my bachelor's right now and I have a payment plan with the college. So this is not student loan debt. There is no interest. I pay $125 a month. And so my college debt, $3,365. And I could probably have paid that off instead of a credit card. But like I said, it's 0%. And I might end up paying that one off before one of my bigger cards just so I can get that sense of accomplishment. You know, if you do follow Dave Ramsey, you know, he talks about you don't pay attention to interest rates. You start with the smallest one and you go to the biggest. And that's because we need to win. We need to pay stuff off in the 0%. But like I said, for me right now, this one is sitting and it is okay. So I'm okay with that. And of course, my dogs are whining and wanting out and wanting everything because I've been filming for a whole 15 minutes so they need my attention. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. But I will tell you that I will probably have to pause again because it's pretty cold out there. So they want it out, but they're gonna want back in. All right, so there's that debt total right there, $288,863.20. And this is what it is broken down into. So still a big number, but we are getting there. All right, let's cover you up so you can't see what's coming next. 
like I said, I like to keep the suspense alive. All right. So now we're going to, we're going to break it down. I'm going to break down to you guys what I've got left in my credit cards so that you can see what my plans are, right? Because you have to have a plan. You have to write things down in order to make them happen. So my credit cards, my credit cards, April of 2020, I had $48,280.19 worth of credit card debt. You know this number. I showed you this number already. If you watched my debt confession, my previous one, you know this number. Now, we got a slow reveal. Look at this. Do you see that? What does that first number look like? Look at that. Oh my gosh. When I figured this out, I almost started crying, you guys. I have left $17,645.49 left in credit card debt. That's it. Look at this number. Look at this number. Oh, breathe a big sigh of relief. Makes me so happy. And you guys, it has taken hard work. I have taken money from other places. I did have, you know, some savings. You know this. I just told you that I took money from my savings, my month ahead fund and a refund that I got. So I have taken money from other places to get this paid off, but I believe everything happens for a reason. So $17,645 and 49 cents. Let's talk about, and that's after 10 months, right? We talked about that total after 10 months of our debt-free journey right here. I paid off $30,634.70 in my credit card debt. That is just amazing. Amazing. I just want to do the happy dance, right? You guys can't see me, but I'm, I'm happy dancing behind the camera. All right. So here we go again. Okay. Let's see what I've got left. Let us see, let us see. Now, in my previous debt confession, I explained that while that was the number at the beginning in April, I had since used my cards. We got married. I put a lot on credit cards. So the amount that I've paid is actually higher than that because I had paid credit cards off and then I put money back on, then I paid them off again. And I have been using what I call the credit card game if you guys are interested in the credit card game and knowing more about that, you can go ahead and click on this video that I will put up in the cards if I can figure out how to do it. All right, let's break this down. Three credit cards left. Three. Hallelujah. Three cards. Unbelievable. I did not ever think I would be here in this short amount of time. So three credit cards. We've got the Citibank. Right now it has $3,926.95 on there. This is my snowball card. This is where my snowball is going to is my Citibank. And then we've got the big one. We've got my first national bank. This is $11,720.98. I will tell you guys that this is not 0% interest, but it is a set interest rate and it is very low. I believe... It, I say set, but it does change a little bit, but I believe it varies between like 3.5% interest and 4.25% interest. So that is why this one is below Citibank. Citibank right now, just so you guys know, is sitting at 0%. So, or 1.99, maybe that was the balance transfer offer on that one. Okay, so we've got those two. We have one more left. We've got Home Depot. This one is $1,997.56. We will have this paid off in November. When I do my Home Depot charges, we are using them for our home, obviously. We did flooring. We did fencing. We've done a lot of big stuff. I break it down to where we pay the amount that we need to pay before that 0% ends. Because I know that's when people get themselves in trouble. So this card is getting $200 every single month. And that is not part of, you know, the snowball or anything. And so I anticipate paying this card off before Home Depot. And if I do that, depending, I might pay Home Depot off just to get it done. And then start on First National Bank. But we shall see. So our, my current snowball. 
is $566. This is how much is going towards the Citibank. I'm also using any extra money that I have throughout the month, it goes towards the Citibank. So my husband and I, we split the grocery bill. If we don't use all of the money in our grocery fund, we cut it in half and whatever's left goes into our debt snowball. So this is the bare minimum of the snowball. Just so you know, this includes the minimum payment for the Citibank. So $566. And my Citibank goal to have this paid off is June 1st of 2021. I truly believe I can do it. And of course, if we take, let's see, if we take $3,926.95, I've got my little calculator here. And so we've got June 1st. So January is already done. I already got paid for January. So for June 1st, we've got March paycheck, April paycheck, and May. So because by June 1st, I don't get paid till the end of the month. So that's only three, three months. So let's see, this is how much we're going to have to pay each month to make that goal. That's a lot, you guys, $1,308.98. And if we subtract the 566, that's a snowball, we have to come up with an extra $742.98. But let me tell you guys something. I should have a tax return coming back. My husband and I will be filing together. I believe we're going to get a return. I need to figure out some things that are a little bit strange. For example, my husband did not get the last stimulus payment. I got the stimulus payment, but he didn't. And also for the stimulus payment, I got it for myself but I didn't get it for my son who is 15. So I didn't get any stimulus money this last year for him. So I should have that stimulus money coming from both stimuluses for him. So I've got some weird stuff, but I should have a return coming back. So that is part of that right there. And I had to make sure that's my last page. You guys, uh, that is my update. I don't break down my husband's stuff to this detail. Um, I think he'd be okay with it, but this is enough. This is my video. I'm working on it. Know obviously that he's working on his as well. He's got a snowball that he's working. His debt is going down and together we are going to be credit card debt free before we know it. All right, you guys, thanks for staying around. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I don't do the blurb about subscribing and hitting the bell and all of that probably often enough. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I put out um, budgeting videos, debt videos, lifestyle videos, cook with me. Right now I'm currently on a weight loss journey, so I've got those, but I'm planning on doing some home improvement project videos. So you just never know what's going to happen on this channel. So you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks, you guys, and have a blessed day. Bye.